Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide multiple scenarios that price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on 4 hour time frame, my main counter is this one at the moment, in which we have a A, B, and C into W, W, X, Y into X, and then again W, X, Y here. Again, According to the original Elliott Wave book, we can't have a complex correction within a complex correction, which means a wave Y of this minor or yellow count can't have a complex cor correction like so here. Um, however, to me, this looks way better as a three-way move here rather than a five-way move. Of course, you can have this as a five-way move as well, something like this. But again, it doesn't have the right look. At that point, again, you could be saying that we have five ways here, uh, three ways back here, and then we would be expecting five ways down here. Again, you would have the same idea here. If this is a one, two, this would be three, four, and five. Um, but to me, this looks more like a finished five way structure here as a better structure as this way four here would be way larger than expected. So yeah, it is up to you how you want to be labeling these and what you expect next. This is what I do. Um, and how I label this and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, so in this wave Y of this green or minute count, we have this as an A wave, looking for wave B to pull back a bit and then looking for that C wave to go to. Um, at the moment we have reached this 32 on logarithmic scale, uh, not on arithmetic scale. So, and this doesn't feel like it is completed as of yet but uh, the invalidation levels are getting closer and closer. So we'll see what happens. Overall, again, this would be one, two, three, four, five into an A wave, then three way pullback for the wave B. The other scenario I was talking about is this one in which we would have the wave, wave one, two, three, and then this whole structure would be wave four and then five. And uh, yeah, whether the wave five is this long or how long ever, um, we'll see. Um, but again, this is not my main that I'm not tracking. Now let's zoom into these smaller time frames to see what we are looking at here overall. So in this bullish case, we have A or one here. So five waves, three waves back here, wave two or wave B. And then we would be looking for five waves for the wave C or wave three. Um, in here, we would have this as a wave one, three way pull back here into wave two, and then again, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, and five into the third of this sub micro, so like so. And then we would be looking for this wave four. Um, then we would be looking that, at that wave five to go higher. Uh, we have gone beyond the point five here, and we tapped through it and we definitely have some kind of support or order blocks as a support here um, which is basically the last support that we have um, before we are actually going to go and invalidate this whole idea so invalidation is at these highs around the 20.75k area and yeah if we go beyond that or below that um, then this whole idea is invalidated um, but yeah, that would complete only the fourth here, and then we would be looking for the fifth. This would only complete the third of micro, which would start from here. And then we would be looking for fourth and fifth, which would again complete the C wave of this larger degree, A, B, and C, or only the third wave. Depending on how high we get this wave structure, uh, we can be looking at either the, uh, 1.618 if we get that high we could be preferring the third wave but again to me overall even if we get that that far uh high or this high here 1.618 around the 25.23 or 27k i would still almost prefer the c wave here as that is my main count overall um yeah that would fit pretty much into the 0.5 retracement of this previous higher degree move of that a structure so what I mean by that is we would retrace this whole structure by 50% if we are getting to this 25k area but yeah that is the bullish count 
Let's check out the uh, bearish count here. I still prefer this one. Um, in this, again, we have three words into W, A, B, C into X, and then again, A, uh, three word pullback into B. Within B, we have this A, B, C. And then we have C wave, so we're expecting five waves. One, two, one, two, uh, three, four, and five into the third of minuscule, so this blue count, and then three way pullback into wave four, and then uh, we could be heading higher. Now it is not said that wave four is in here, I've just labeled it as, as a possibility. I don't really like the subway structures in here, nor in here, um, so the wave B is a bit scoffed um, looking. So what we could be having is instead of having this B wave completed up here, we could still have this as five wave move here. Then some kind of a, because I, I really don't want to pair this with this, because this looks more like a three wave structure. Of course, it is possible that we have this as a three wave move, but if we are just looking at the extensions here, we can see that they are very wild, very wild. Even like, to, yeah, it doesn't look like it is on it. Yeah, this would need to be a flat. But again, it's not even an expanded flat. So it does not really fit the idea. So I'm still thinking that this is a five way move somehow, but I can't really get a five way move to pair up with it. Um, it's possible that we have some kind of three way move here, three way move here, and then three way move here. Um, so we would need a partner leg for this one. This is very overlapping structures. I couldn't get a diagonal in there, so still I can't get a partner leg for this one. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Again, the overall invalidation point of this whole idea of being a four is around the 20.75 k area. Um, so yeah, anything, any of this mess is good to be looked at with a, eyes of this can be a wave four and it, it can even extend even further. Of course, this is going to be having the same issue that we had on the overall higher time frame count that we don't want to see the wave four too large. Already if we are ex like um, comparing it to this wave, wave two here, it is getting very large if we are looking at these structures just like this. But we'll see what happens. Again, we have taken these lows off the A wave here. Um, so we could be finished here. So, but yeah, I can't really get a diagonal here. We could have a one, two, one, two, one, twos, but again, less likely. So what I'm tracking this weekend and have been tracking and trading is this fixed volume profile. Um, again, is available here on TradingView as a tool, fixed range volume profile. You can use it as you wish. Um, we can see it has respected very well, of course, depending on how far we have gone with the price, we can see that there is some other um, good areas to short, oh sorry, the long and short, the range value area highs and the lows are very good for that. As price of course develops, we have to be pulling this forward um, or we can use the volume uh, profile of this sort. But again, I don't have the range value area lows and highs on this one. so. That's why I prefer this fixed range. Um, in here again, what we are currently battling with is this support that we had um, before. And of course this range value area low, we took out these uh, swing failure pattern um, of these lows. And then again, getting higher, um, very zigzaggy movement here. Um, we'll see if we can go through this previous level of resistance. Um, we do have this support here as the range value area low now. We have tapped that twice now and we could be heading higher. I have my longs again. I took another long down here and took profits on my short, but we'll see, we'll see. But that is again pretty much everything I want to share today. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below and please let me know what asset should I cover next. For now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.